everyone, how are you doing? Today for you guys, I'm going to be doing the Lip Product Attic Take. I think that this is going to be really fun to film because I haven't done a video dedicated just to lip products in like a really, really long time. I think the last one I did was probably my um, 2013 makeup favorites. So uh, this is just a tag full of tons of questions about lip products. And so let's get on to so it. So the first question here is favorite balm slash treatment. And that for me, without any doubt, is this little duo of products here. I actually think that I mentioned this in my 2013 beauty favorites as like a great sort of uh, everyday kind of lip treatment. Whenever my lips are in need of some like serious reconditioning or like if I've just been really really rough to them and they feel you know cracked or they are just really dry and chapped I love using this combination of products. The first product here is the elf lip exfoliator and I love this for a variety of reasons. First of all I think the packaging of this is really nice. It's not like your lip scrub where you have to dig your finger into a pot. Um, the next product I'm going to show does come in a pot and that's like the only downside to it. I really don't like putting my fingers inside things. I think it's just really unsanitary and it's just messy and like one of the reasons that I suck sometimes at doing swatches and stuff in my videos is because I cannot stand the feeling of like lip products and like or anything like kind of greasy on my fingers. It just, oh, it's just one of my biggest like pet peeves I guess you could say. I just really really hate the feeling. So I love the packaging of this. I love how it just kind of comes in like your lipstick bullet so that you can just run it over your lips. It's really fast. It's easy. It's convenient and it works really well. It tastes really good and smells really nice and I think that overall for like the whole three dollars you pay for it, it is an amazing lip exfoliator. So after I exfoliate my lips with that, I then go in with the Vaseline Lip Therapy Cocoa Butter Lip Balm. I freaking love this stuff. This is my favorite like really really deeply nourishing um, lip balm. If my lips are just like super 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 dry I will put this on and seriously within like I would say like an hour or two of having this on they just feel so conditioned and so soft. They are a million times smoother and it's just an amazing product. It smells amazing has a nice kind of like cocoa-y scent and it just is so insanely moisturizing. This is also awesome to put on at night. Then you can wake up and have just really nice soft glowy lips. So I really, really love this combination of products for my favorite kind of lip treatment. Number two is best eye catching red. For me has to be my NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Cruella. I freaking love this color. I would also say my uh, Revlon, uh, what are they called? The Oh shoot, why can't I think of them? These things, what are these things? Uh, lip butters, oh my god. Um, the one in red velvet. This is my other favorite red, but definitely if I had to pick one, I would probably go with the NARS one. It's a little bit fancier. The color is so much more long wearing than the lip butter too. The lip butters, you know, after about three or so hours, they really fade. This thing, you will put it on, you can wear it for eight hours straight and you will still have really, really intense color. There is a swatch of it on the back of my hand. And I think the fact that it's matte just makes it really wearable. It's that perfect perfect red shade. Like, it's not too blue based, it's not too orange based, it's not too deep, it's not too light and like in your face. It is seriously perfect. And it's one of those colors that I think whether you're fair, whether you're dark, whether you're medium skin tone, it will seriously work on everybody because it's that perfect in between red. Like, there is a reason why this is a makeup artist favorite, a, you know, cult favorite. It's definitely one of the best lip products that I own and it is just the most perfect red and whenever I wear this I get compliments. So this so. by far is my favorite eye catching red color. The next Next question here is best luxury and best drugstore. So for luxury, this may kind of sound a little bit surprising. So I do own a YSL lipstick and while I think the color is gorgeous and it feels really nice and it overall is a great lipstick, I think for the price, um, I just, I don't think it really justifies the formulation all that much because there are so many other lipsticks out there like that. So if I had to pick a luxury lipstick, and this by no means I would consider a luxury brand, I would consider brands like YSL a luxury brand, but, but this is just what I I would consider it's more like sort of high end. Um, and I definitely prefer this lipstick formulation over seriously any lipstick formulation. This is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lipsticks. I, as you guys know, work at Ulta now and whenever somebody is asking me for a lipstick or like, I, you know, I'm really looking for a new lip color, whether it be, you know, a new red or a new bright color or my lips with better shade, I always take them to the Bare Minerals section to show them the Marvelous Moxies. And I always sell them because the formulation is just 
is unlike anything else. The packaging is really nice. It comes in this little like button kind of holder thingy. So you click the button, the lipstick pops out. So it feels very luxurious. But the formulation of this, by the way, this is in the shade Get Ready. The formulation of this is just out of this world. I like to compare it kind of to like a gel. It has a very um, gel-like consistency, but it's not super thin where it just feels like it's going to slide off your lips. There's a little bit of hold there, and so it feels nice, it feels smooth, it feels conditioning, but it's not a color that's gonna fade off in, you know, two hours. And there is a swatch of this shade here. I mean, that is just like seriously just one swipe down. As you can see, I mean, just full on lots of color pigment coming out of that shade. Plus, there is a really, really good amount of shine, too. I mean, you could definitely top it with a gloss to get even more of a glossy finish. But a lot of times with these Marvelous Moxie lipsticks, I will just wear um, it as is, and I feel totally fine. I feel like I have enough shine where my lips don't look flat. They look really juicy, and they just look so conditioned and just look so good. So um, definitely, definitely for my favorite luxury, you know, high-end lipstick or mineral lipsticks because they are awesome. And then for drugstore, for me, honestly, it's a top up because I have two drugstore formulations. I have actually tons of drugstore formulations that I really enjoy, but two as far as lipsticks go that I think just really outcompete almost any lipstick formulation in the drugstore are the Maybelline Vivids and then the CoverGirl Lip Perfection. The Maybelline Vivids, as you guys know, are just a huge favorite amongst beauty bloggers, beauty vloggers, and just kind of makeup enthusiasts because they come in such a cool cool range of colors. I mean, the colors in this range are unlike anything else you'll find in the drugstore. This one here is called Pink Pop. And it is seriously like the most awesome, like cool tone, violet-y pink shade. It is so gorgeous. Um, the formulation itself is really, really hydrating. It has some different like nectars and um, oil extracts in the formulation, which just make it really, really hydrating and really comfortable to wear, which is awesome. And um, overall, I just think that the formulation, the staying power, the color range, everything about these lipsticks are just so unique amongst any other drugstore counterpart. And there is a swatch of that pink pop shade there. Again, this is only with one swipe, so you can see you got lots of pigment going on. Um, it's not as shiny as the Bare Minerals color, but there still is a good amount of shine in these lipsticks, and they just work so, so well, and they are just so amazing. And then the CoverGirl Lip Perfections, I think that these are actually supposed to have some type of a um, ingredient or some type of a quality to them, where over time, if you wear them for like a week consecutively or something, they're supposed to actually improve the condition of your lips. I don't stick with a lip color to a point where I use it for like a straight week, so I haven't been able to really test that out. But I think that the color range of these lipsticks are awesome. The scent is kind of weird. Um, if I had to change one thing, it would be the scent. They just kind of smell plasticky and strange. The whole color selection is just so cool. Again, you got some really fun shades. My personal favorite is Divine, which is this bright purple. And these lipsticks are just so incredibly smooth. They're actually a bit smoother than the Maybelline ones. So if you're looking for something that's just really comfortable to wear, definitely go with these. They have sort of a thinner texture to them, but they really do last a pretty good amount of time. Colors like these will stain a little bit because they definitely have that sort of deep kind of pinky base to them, so it will stain a little bit fuchsia-y. So if you're okay with that, then that's awesome. And I just really like the packaging of these two. Like, when you swivel them up, it's just so smooth. I don't know if any of you have these lipsticks, but seriously, the packaging I just think is awesome. Like, it just feels really nice. So, um, anyway, those are my favorites for that category. The next category here is Best MAC Lipstick, and that is so hard for me, especially right now when I went to a MAC counter recently and I picked up three MAC lipsticks that I love seriously to death. Like, they are all kind of equal in my mind. They're pink pigeon, kind of sexy, and blankety. But if I absolutely had to pick one that I think I wear the most and the one that I enjoy the most, it would have to be Blankety. Um, but don't get me wrong, Kinda Sexy and Pink Pigeon, those ones I've recently picked up too, are like right up there. They're just sort of colors that I don't wear all the time. I am wearing Kinda Sexy right now, but I have gotten so much use out of Max Blankety and has definitely become like my most used MAC lipstick and I've only had it for like I think three weeks now. It is just the perfect lipstick to layer with anything and I'm not a person who likes to layer their lipsticks. I think that sometimes that just gets too complicated. I'm like, I want a lipstick and a lip gloss, maybe. Usually I'm just like kind of a lipstick person. But, um, you know, I just kind of want one. I don't want to have to deal with like two or three different colors. But this over top, any sort of a lip liner um, that's a little bit deeper, like if you're pairing this with a deep plum or deep red, it gives a really cool effect. And my favorite way to wear this has been with um, the Jordana lip liner in the shade. I think it's Plush Plum. It's just a really, really deep kind of uh, burgundy plum shade. I put this on top and I 
get a really cool purple lip. Like it just looks so unique. And the cool thing about this lipstick too is since I think it's a amplified finish, yeah. Um, it has a really nice creamy full color kind of texture to it. So it leaves your lips feeling really hydrated and you get a lot of color out of it. So it's just so perfect to mix with anything. And by itself too, it is just beautiful. It's like this, um, I don't know, I'd say it's kind of like a mauve nude shade. It looks very boring, like I'll be real, but it is so pretty. It works so well. It's one of those lipsticks you can just throw on your bag. Like I said, you can mix it with anything. You can wear it by itself. It just looks gorgeous. So I am really, really loving this lipstick lately and it's definitely my favorite from MAC. The next question here is the most disappointing. Um, that's very general. I think that because the question before it was best MAC lipstick, this means the most disappointing MAC lipstick. I don't I know if it's referencing like any lipstick or just MAC, but I will show you a MAC shade because I think that that's what it's trying to get across here. Um, this is MAC's Sandy B. This was a shade that I thought I was going to wear so much because I saw um, some beauty blogger mention it on her blog and I thought that it looked gorgeous. It's like a, kind of a peachy pink. It is a frost so it does kind of have that frosty tone going to it but there's just a lot of warmth to the shade but you got that sort of like slight tinge of pink which I thought made it look really really pretty and there was a time when I was obsessed with colors like this you know Max Nymphette this kind of shade those really pretty peachy pink shimmery colors but this lipstick is just so drying and the frost finish is just so unforgiving and like just really, I, I, to be honest, it's really kind of ugly looking. Um, it just settles into every single lip line you have and even the ones that you didn't think you had. And like I said, the finish of it is just so unforgiving. There's a swatch of it, you can see. Really, really pretty. And when you swatch it, it looks like there's gonna be a lot of shine coming out of this color, but in all reality, the lipstick is actually very matte. All that is just the frost. So when it goes on your lips, that frost just settles into every single line, like I said, and it just makes your lips look so dry and just so chapped. And so you don't really get that pretty peachy pink color. You just get this really like bad, horrific, chapped lip effects. So this is by far the most disappointing one that I've tried and um, it's not a lipstick that I get a whole lot of use out of. The next question is liner, yes or no? Um, I would say that it really depends. Honestly, like uh, with this lipstick that I'm wearing today, Max Kinda Sexy, I don't wear a lip liner because it's really light. However, whenever I am using a dark lip color, like a dark red or a plum or a burgundy, I definitely use a lip liner because I feel like it just really, really helps to um, keep the color from bleeding and just kind of moving and smudging around. Whenever I'm using anything too, like the uh, Maybelline Vivids, I like to use a lip liner or some type of a pencil just to trace around my lips to make sure that that color doesn't move anywhere. So I think that if you're going for a natural everyday kind of lip, you know, you don't really need a lip liner, but definitely if you're wanting a lot of color and you are scared that it might transfer out a little bit, or even if you don't have huge transferring issues, it's just nice to put a lip liner around it to give it a nice kind of clean, sharp edge and make the color look a lot prettier. The next question is best gloss and definitely this is one of those categories again that is really hard for me to pick like one lip gloss or like one formulation that I like above them all because I find lip gloss formulations to really be the same. Um, maybe it's because I'm more of a lipstick connoisseur than I am a lip gloss person so I tend to collect a lot more lipsticks. I tend to try more of a variety of different lipsticks versus lip glosses but to me so many lip glosses feel the same. I mean I really can't tell a huge difference between a lot of different formulations but one formulation that from the time I tried it until now I just have really really liked and I think is just a really solid formulation overall that a lot of people tend to enjoy is the NYX Butter Glosses. Um, I know that so many people rave about these. I mean there's people that have like the entire color collection and I can totally understand it because first off they smell amazing. I mean you open them up and they smell like a bakery. This one here is in um, the shade Vanilla Cream Pie and it is my favorite pink of all time. It's just the most beautiful um, perfect perfect, you know, neutral kind of pink shade. It is just so gorgeous. There's a swatch of it there. And as you can tell, I mean, when it hits the light, you just get so much shine out of these and you get such a beautiful color effect that I just think that these glosses are so flattering. And because they all have cream finishes, they're going to work very, very well on more mature people. They're not going to settle onto lines. You're not going to get that weird effect where after it starts to wear off, you get little glitter or little shimmer specks all over. They wear off very evenly, but they do wear for a long time. I mean, I can easily get like three or four hours out of this lip gloss. So 
overall, I really like these. And I think that the color range is really cool too. They recently added some new shades, like some really deep dark shades. So I really, really like these. And I think that for the price and everything, they just work really, really well. So the next question here is something extra. And I thought for that, I would show you guys my favorite kind of tinted lip balm, sheer lipstick, jumbo pencil, you know, something around those lines. Um, out of everything that I've tried and sort of the tinted lip balm, sheer lipstick, whatever kind of category you want to put that under, what my favorite product is or what my favorite formulation is. And they are the Rimmel Color Rush Balms. I have talked a lot about these recently because I just feel really strongly about this uh, lip product. I just think that these are so hydrating. They have the most delicious vanilla scent to them and they last a really long amount of time compared to a lot of the other jumbo stick You know lip product things I've tried or the sort of balm stains These are by far my favorite and I have tried tons. I've tried ones from Stila I've tried the Revlon one and these I just think outperform every other brand because um, They are so inexpensive. I think they're only around four or five dollars The color range is awesome and they feel so good. The two colors that I have are um, 120 on all you need is pink. I love wearing this whenever I am sort of going for like a brighter lip, but I don't want it to be like too in your face. As you can see there, it's just sort of a really pretty like kind of bright strawberry pink shade, but because of its sheerness, it's very wearable. And the other thing about these two that I want to mention is they can definitely build them up. And then this one I mentioned in my recent favorites video, this is not an illusion. And this is just such a cool color. This actually reminds me a lot kind of of Max Kind of Sexy if you were to give it like a glossy finish. Um, it's just sort of that beautiful peachy nude kind of deeper peach shade it is so so pretty and like I said these are very very buildable and I find that these go on more pigmented on your lips than they do in the swatch so I really really like these I found mine at Walmart and if you can track them down and find them it definitely do so oh, they smell divine they last a really long amount of time because they do have that staining effect and they just provide such a nice glossy finish I mean you definitely do not need a lip gloss with these they are just so so perfect by themselves and I love them and that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be taking some people down below that I would like to see do this. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know um, what lip product is your favorite. You know, like what is one lipstick or one lip gloss that you absolutely love. I'd really like to hear your guys' recommendations. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys all next time. Bye-bye.